Hi everyone, my name is Nastya. We are recording a new lesson for you right now and I would like to share it with my friends. Let's take a photo. Alright, so now I need to write some caption on it. Uh, let's say a new video is coming and uh, post. All right. Today we will talk about something that we cannot imagine our life without. Have you guessed it already? Of course, the internet. Everyone knows such modern social networks as TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, where people can chat, write posts, read news, share links of funny videos, and do many, many other things. But have you ever thought which social media was the first one? Don't Google the answer now. Let's make a short quiz. I will give you three options and you will try to guess the correct one. A. MySpace B. Six Degrees C. Friendster The correct answer is Six Degrees. Six Degrees of Separation. It was the first website where people could have an account and add other users as friends. Of course, there weren't such gadgets as we have now and people didn't spend hours on the internet. But it was so unusual to know that you can just stay at home and text someone across the globe. The social media world is great. Nowadays, we are quite used to the feeling. Just log in and start scrolling through the endless feed and even feel bored. But even now, when it seems like nothing new can be done, new apps appear, something changes, and the online world never stops developing. It is an amazing world, but also don't forget to stop staring at your screen and look around. Maybe there are some cool ideas for a new app. And now, let's check how well you remember the vocabulary. Match the words with their definitions. Ready? Let's check together. 1. To scroll. C. To move some information up or down on a screen to view different parts of it. 2. Social media. E. A website on which people can communicate and share information. 3. To text. A. To send a message by phone. 4. To have an account. D. To be registered on a website and add information about yourself. 5. To share a link. B. To copy a website's address and send it to someone. Well done! You all know how to use TikTok, don't you? But can you explain how to do it? It can be even more challenging to explain it in English. Let's listen to one lesson from a very unusual school. Hello, everyone! I'm glad to see you again at our lesson. You already know a lot of things, so today we will learn how to register on social media. Will we work in groups or individually? I think it is better to work in groups. We will randomly choose social media for every group. I'm afraid I forgot my phone at home. Do you have a spare gadget? Of course. Here you go. Let's pick social media randomly for you and Elizabeth. You will work with Instagram. Oh, I already have an Instagram account. Great! Then you will help Nick with it. OK, I'm already on the website. What should I do next? Find the button Register and enter all the information. Why do they ask for my phone number? I don't want them to call me. Calm down. Nobody will call you. Just enter it. Well, one more password. It is so hard to remember all of them. Just please, don't use Nick123 again. It is too simple. Then don't look at my screen. I will type a new password. So, what's next? Now you need to enter it again to log in into your account. All right, I'm in. Now you can find your friends and follow them. To see their photos and videos, you will need to scroll down. Oh, look! It is my son in the mountains. I want to ask how the trip is. 
Can I do it in the comments? It is better to text him in direct messages. Look, here. It looks like you use it a lot. Yeah, my granddaughter downloaded the app on my phone and I can use it almost three hours a day. What do you do here? I will share with you the link of my favorite pages. They post something every day. Are you ready here? Well done, Nick. Just don't forget to add your photo. Were you attentive while listening? Let's check. Mark the sentences as true or false. Let's check together. 1. It is the first lesson in the school. False, because they already know a lot of things. 2. The teacher herself chooses social media for every group. False, because it is chosen randomly. 3. Elizabeth already has an Instagram account. True. 4. Nick chooses a password. Nick123. False because it is the password that Elizabeth asks not to choose. 5. The first person Nick finds on Instagram is his daughter. False, because Nick firstly finds his son. Was everything correct? Good for you! Today you learned how to tell others about your online activity. Have you ever taught your parents or grandparents to use social media? Now you can try to do it in English. See you! Bye-bye!